The book is based on a survey where men and women were asked if they got 80% of everything they want in their ideal mate, would they be happy with that? And women said, no, that's settling. And men said, 80%, I'd be thrilled, that's a catch. And so, 80% you know, to the women you surveyed is settling? That's settling because, you know, the question is, what actually makes us happy in long-term romantic love? And, you know, that's the question that I explore in the book. And I'm a journalist, so I went out and I asked neurobiologists about chemistry, and I asked behavioral economists about demographics, and I asked marital researchers. What are women too picky about here? Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, men and women were asked what would be a deal breaker for going on a second date. And men named three things. They said she has to be cute enough. She doesn't have to look like Angelina Jolie. She just has to be cute enough. She has to be warm and kind. And she has to be interesting to talk to. Those seem like really valid criteria. Ding, 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 ding. We, Pretty simple. Right. Uh, Okay, reasonable, right? The women came back with 300 things that would rule out a guy for a second date. And we're talking about like another two hours and maybe a free dinner. And they wouldn't do it. And there were things like he wore a brown belt with black shoes. Or we were having a really good time and I thought he was cute and he was interesting. But then he went, he did this Austin Powers impression. And I just can't get that out of my mind and I can't go out with him again. Austin Powers guy could be the love of her 